In this video, I want to show you how you can import models inside Unreal Engine. And in particular, we are talking about the FBX format. Now you can create 3D objects with many 3D software, with many 3D applications. And the, this is the basic format that you're gonna use. Now in this video, I will use Blender as a starting point for our work here. So I want to show you how you can export from Blender and import into Unreal Engine. Uh, in our YouTube channel, we already published many videos about uh, the exporting and importing process. So if you look for our channel here, JVD Tube, you can check for Unreal export. You're going to find a lot of videos about, or well, Unreal import. You will find a lot of video guides about this stuff. And usually when we export from other software, we, we use Datasmith. Datasmith, it's an excellent resource. So look for it into, the, into our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to use Blender and Blender doesn't have Datasmith. It has another add-on, which we will probably talk about in another video, not in this one. In this video, I want to show you the, the basic, classic, uh, standard procedure to export and import an FBX file, which is this car here. This is a Ferrari uh, Formula One um, vehicle. So I will show you where to get this. So you, then, you can do the same exact exercise that I'm doing right here. Now, the first thing you need, it's of course Blender. So if you don't have Blender, you have to get it from the web. So search for Blender. And also you need to have Epic Games Launcher, which is a software that will let you install and then launch Unreal Engine. Now, we have done other guides about installing and launching Unreal Engine and also how to download and install Blender. So if you want to check them out, again, you search in our YouTube channel. So I will not show you all that steps. You just have to look for it here. So for example, if you search for Blender install, there, we, there you go, you're gonna see a um, a video guide about this, how to download and install Blender. So check this stuff here and make sure that you have installed Blender. Now this is Blender right here and that you have installed Unreal Engine and this is Unreal Engine. So uh, let me show you also where you can, can get this Ferrari model. And it's uh, again a free website and that's the 3D model right there. So the website, it's called c4download.com and probably this was created to share Cinema 4D 3D models. So Cinema 4D is another um, 3D software, 3D modeling and rendering application which is pretty uh, famous. So Cinema 4D. Also you have uh, here in our YouTube channel if you go in the playlist page English video courses you will find a complete video course in Cinema 4D right here and also other stuff. So please check our YouTube channel and other video courses and video guides and please subscribe to stay tuned and also to know more about other software. Now let's get here. So Cinema 4D, c4download.com, there it is. And we are going to look for FBX models. So we click here into the Autodesk FBX section just skip every single ad that it's gonna show up. It's, this is pretty uh, full with uh, many different ads. So be careful not to click on the ads and just scroll down here. And let's look for vehicles, 3D models, vehicles. So it's a really nice website because it's pretty well organized, but you just have to skip a lot of advertisements. No, there you go. This is your Ferrari Formula One. You can also search for it right here with the search uh, tool and click on this Formula One. It's gonna open this page. Now, again, skip all these fake download buttons here and all the advertisement, get into the bottom of the page. And that's the link that you wanna look for, this one right here. This is done by Dila Frauds. So click here. And you're gonna do a last step. The last step is not to install everything that's in this page, but just to 
go straight here to the download button, click here, and the download is gonna show up. Now I have already downloaded this, so I will stop this. Okay, this is just a zipped file that you're gonna find. It's a RAR uh, file actually that you are going to find into the download folder. So from there, you can open it and you can extract it anywhere you want. And in my case, I have extracted this into a particular folder called FBX. And you will find all this stuff when you uh, first extract everything. So you will find a lot of 3D, different, different 3D models. And so you can see you have also the Cinema 4D file. So if you're using Cinema 4D, this could be better probably because you already, you already have the, the software there. And we made another video about exporting from Cinema 4D to uh, Unreal Engine. Well, we make a lot of videos about exporting actually. And so what we need is the FBX, which should be the second one here. So right click on this, uh, go to properties, details, and that's it, that's the FBX right there. That's the format we are looking for, but you can also use other formats sometimes. Now we're gonna talk about the FBX because it's the most common and the most diffuse and also the one that works the best. And right here, instead we have the textures. So we have unwrapped textures, probably these are made with Substance. Substance is another great software that I want to uh, talk, talk you about maybe in another videos but we already made an introduction so if you search for substance you will find again we we made an entire video course but only in Italian maybe if you support us if you show us your support we're gonna make another one in English in the future but we are also looking forward to make a video course in armor paint which is basically the cheaper and uh, also some, if you want free version of uh, Substance, so Armor Paint, it's really nice. Um, we're gonna publish a video guide. I think it's already published when you're gonna see this video here. So look for Armor Paint. And also another option is Marmoset. They all do the same thing. They are focused on the creation of materials based on uh, the physical base render uh, materials and textures, so PBR. So also, if you want to look for this, just search for PBR. I'm gonna check other videos about this topic. All right, now, so you just have to go into Blender here, and you are going to. Well, let's make it. Let's make a new one here. New general. Don't save this. Okay, let's get rid of this cube, and save file, and import. FBX. Now another thing, if you don't see this, you may want to activate the add-on. Probably it's not activated, so you go to Edit Preferences, Add-ons, and search for FBX here, and make sure that this one is activated, otherwise you won't have the, that possibility. So File. Well, I think uh, not. it's not about the import, but about the export. No? I'm gonna import this here. So there you go. This is the one. Import. And then the model is gonna show up. And here in Blender, you need to kind of turn on the texture with this different view. There you go. And just wait just a bit for the texture to show up. Now, of course, I am going to re-export this in FBX. So you, you will say, why are you not just bringing this directly into a real engine? Well, that's a choice, actually. You, you could do that, no problem. But this is also to show you how you can export from Blender. So we, we are talking about two topics here. So I will show you two things that are really important, especially if you work with Blender. Again, if you work with another uh, software, you could see the other um, guides, but this is for the ones who need to export from Blender and import from a real engine. And you have, um, well, this is not the, the only method that we have. We, are not, we have also another one, which I will show you into another video, but this is again, the standard one. So select your model, go to file and export, 
in FBX. And you're going to, you want to select these, uh, only export the selected objects. Otherwise, you're going to export lights and all, all sorts of things. So you just want to export what you are selecting right now, which is your Formula 1 3D mesh. And also, in this, uh, I found an issue about the orientation. So just click here to apply transform. And this, this should fix the orientation. Otherwise, you will have to rotate it manually later on. And also in the geometry, I found problems using this smoothing normals only. I have set this to phase and apparently I have solved the problem. So uh, we don't need animation. Uh, I think that's all we need. Now we just need a texture where to save this. And I will go to my FBX folder here again. Uh, well, I will call this untiled. So we're going to uh, distinguish that from the others. And that's it. Now we jump into Unreal Engine. And this was the previous import importing. So I will do another one. Now if I want to get a little bit organized, I can create a folder here and call it Ferrari. Press Enter. And now that's where I will import my file. So file, import into level, FBX folder, untiled file, open. And I'm going to choose this folder here. So it's going to get everything into that folder. Say import. And that's it. The job is done. So what it should do now, just in the previous, like in the previous uh, import, importing that I've done, is to import your model your mesh and your materials and also the texture. There you go. Now we always have some issue here whenever we import something, but just make sure that the model is visible, doesn't have anything out of place and that the smoothing groups here are working fine. As you can see, everything looks pretty nice, pretty cool. So I think this was a successful import. So let's close this. And now if you want to bring it into the scene, I will click and drag this directly here. And nothing is showing. Now let's say probably I need to save this stuff here. Let's save. All right. I don't know. Probably it's not even. Oh, I think it's pretty huge. I don't know why I did that actually. Look at that. Now that's my car. It's pretty huge. And it, did, it didn't do that the last time. So this is, I don't know, sometimes things are strange here. So be careful. Each time you import, you need to work it out a little bit. So just kill this. Maybe it's, uh, we can use this one here to find the correct scale. Okay, I don't know why it did that actually, but again, when you do this stuff, you always run into some troubles. You need to know a little bit of these tools to get around the issues, or you can uh, send us a comment in the comments of the video so you, we can help you to fix the problem, or maybe another user can. No, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit troubling. Now, basically what we need to do is to get the same um, scale here into every direction. So, well, we, we could lock this. We didn't do that. So we just select this value here. Control C, Control B, Control B. So everything is going to be uh, uniform and lock this up. And then you can figure out the correct scale. Now, again, I don't know why this time it gives me this problem, but when you do importing, uh, if you're not using Datasmith, which is an excellent importer, but it's not available at the moment for Blender, uh, well, unless you use a really nice plugin or a really nice add-on, gonna work, you have to work a little bit about these issues. And probably if you go here and 
you know fix something in the export options maybe you're gonna solve this as well but yeah like in the scale now that we know that it's big I can fix the scale or I can uh, fix uh, I don't know something here it's gonna solve the problem so again if you have some issues please write to us or perhaps you can look for the solution into other forums or blogs but we did it we we uh, find out how to import into Unreal Engine this really nice 3D model without uh, so much uh, effort so thanks for watching again please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned thanks for watching see you in the next video